Hey, welcome to Board Game Today. I'm Brett, and my hands is the Joy Toy Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine Ultramarine Intercessors, one of the latest unit releases for Joy Toy. Now, Joy Toy is one of the numerous companies that have got a toy license for Games Workshop's Warhammer 40,000 line. Um, they've been putting together some units, which are pretty cool, that you can buy all at once. It's been kind of some of their initial releases, almost a unit in a box, which is Pretty cool, if you ask me. So we're gonna open up. We're gonna show off the figures and uh, kind of give the general overview of them. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say these are, are gonna be really solid. I mean, so far we've only had one figure that was kind of debatable as far as the quality of it. Uh, but these are the Space Marines. I mean, the Space Marine releases so far have all been really, really good. Um, I mean, they all kind of you know are basic, the basic bodies with small details. And then, uh, yeah, not a ton of difference between them. Um, all right, so we're going to open up the first one. They usually have names on this. Eh, this one doesn't have a name. They don't have names on this, apparently. So we're going to go with this buddy. So what's really cool about these is each figure really, really has a uh, unique personality. Um, the faces are unique. You get a lot of options as far as how you want to put them together. All right, so we can put a knife somewhere on him. Oh, on his belt. That's unique. Let's get backpack. And of course, being intercessors. You need their big honking gun. All right. Uh, as we've done with all the other figures, let's go over the movement of uh, of them. So we've got uh, foot up and down. Toe doesn't seem to move. Oh, yep, toe moves uh, side to side. We got knee. Is double bend. Uh, good movement at the waist. This one has a little bit of, uh, of restriction due to the uh, the knife on the front. Swivel side to side, does go back and forth. Uh, you can see the arms are tons of movement here. And of course the head, side to side, full movement uh, range there. Uh, details on this. Obviously painting is really, really solid. I'm liking the small details they've added to this. This figure is very different than some of the other Marines that have come out uh, with the details that we got. We got the small little bullet uh, charm here. We got the knife that's in the front. I think that's a new thing. Of course, you've got uh, the new weapon as well uh, that the squad comes with. And, and I think just generally the, the waist as a whole is, uh, is rather unique design to it. Let's see here. All right. One down. Of course, each of these have hands. You get extra weapons and a uh, helmet if you want to put a helmet on them. This, this is why we might put a helmet on for display. I haven't quite decided. I do like the faces of these. They're pretty cool looking. So I don't know. We might might have to do all Marines, all my Marines with the uh, helmets off. We can do consistent that way. look at this one's different uh, the back looks pretty similar the difference is we have this instead in the front we're obviously not going to move around the joints it's a little silly since we've done all that uh, the face is obviously different as well we got some nice scars uh, what's interesting is like the faces of these guys look really good and then you have the like the librarian which just which was a horrible horrible uh, face we also have got names on the side. I just noticed that. That's actually really cool. So we got Varro. It was the first. Oh, this one doesn't. 
This one does. Oh, we got we got some unique stuff here. All right. So it's two of them. Oh, this guy looks angry. Looks like all their hands are the same. I don't see much variant on that. Grenade launcher uh, underneath. This is uh, the variants for the the weapon. On the figure itself, the figure itself is pretty plain. It's got kind of the back that's similar to everyone else. There's nothing on the front. Uh, so this one stands out because of the of the gun. like the sergeant. Only thing I say is I kind of wish there was five figures for each squad just so it would be an official squad since you know you're supposed to have five. All right so we've got a, a, clearly the sergeant has a chain sword and a red helmet. Show off. I'll show off his helmet. The helmet, is, the painting on the helmet, I think is really, really solid. That looks, it's good. It looks really, really good. Uh, what's also cool is there's a helmet on the back. If you don't have them on, if you don't put it on, uh, let's. This one actually has a lot of different details. So we've got uh, the scrolls on the lower leg. Uh, the shoulder has got this uh, this nice little embellishment. You've got this the skull. Of course, the I think it's called a pauldron. I think it's you know, whatever. The skull on the other side. Uh, and of course, the hip has uh, has that. There is a lot of detail on this one that uh, makes him uh, varied from from the other ones. Um, Oh, and even cooler, the wrist actually opens up with a little communication inside with really, really good detail uh, in there. Hopefully you can kind of see what's inside. That's really, really cool. Um, yeah, this might be one of the coolest, the coolest releases for the Marines so far. Like that that might have that might have won me over. Well, you know what? We do we're gonna do some variation here. So let's get the right one for the sword. I think this one. Yep, 
That's good. Yet. So we're gonna switch out hands. Ah, oh, damn it. I did this before. So the only negative is the joints every so often pop out. They're ball joints. There we go. So if you don't get the ball joint perfect, you can take the whole joint out, which isn't bad, but you know, it's still kind of a pain to get back in. So we got a pretty unique uh, squad here. Um, everyone has kind of a look to themselves. Faces all look, uh, uh, stand out and are different. The bodies themselves, uh, the backs are definitely the same, but the front and small details around them differ for, for every single one. So it's not a complete replica with every single figure, which I think is really, really cool. I mean, I'm, uh, you know, I've been doing these videos for a while now. We've done a few of these uh, unboxings. I'm a fan of, of the Joy Toys figures. Like, I think they're really cool. Uh, comparatively to some of the other uh, lines of figures out there, it, they're not super expensive. Um, and obviously, some can be. But when you get squads like this, it's, it's actually not that bad. Uh, when it compares to uh, Bandai and McFarlane, I think these are better priced, uh, higher, uh, higher quality in many ways. Um, I think they're better than uh, the McFarlane. Um, they're better priced than the Bandai, and I actually think they're better quality than the Bandai. So to me, this is like a perfect middle of everything. Overall, really, really cool. I'm a fan. Um, I, I can't wait to see what else. The, the stuff they got coming looks amazing, and I'm super excited. Of course, we're going to be covering more and more and more uh, as uh, they come out, so I'm pumped. Uh, if you want more uh, news from Games Workshop, uh, miniature games, board games, role-playing games, whatever, um, you can check us out at Board Game Today. We're going to have a, a link where you can purchase your own of these beneath this video. Probably not going to be an affiliate link, but if we can find one, uh, we'll let you know underneath. Um, you can follow us on uh, YouTube, Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, uh, TikTok, all at Board Game Today, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep rolling those dice. Get your game on. Hey, thanks for watching Board Game Today. We always appreciate your views and your support, but there are so many ways for you to support our site. Not only can you do right here on video, but you can go and check us out at boardgametoday.com where we have more news, reviews, interviews, everything you could ever want. But since you're here, if you could, you can always give us a like, subscribe, or share our videos or watch something else. As always, much appreciated and get your game on.